Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at six times in which John Marston survived fatal injuries. I'm telling you, this guy should have been dead like so many times. So we're actually going to be going in order, starting in Red Dead Redemption 2 and then going to Red Dead Redemption. So we're going chronologically here. So the first instance occurs literally in the second mission of Red Dead Redemption 2, where Arthur and Javier Escuela are tasked to save John Marston. He apparently has gone off scouting somewhere in the north, and on his journey, he was actually attacked by vicious wolves. And you find him on the edge of a cliff, and you can see he is freezing, he is starving, you can see his face is all scarred and scratched up. And this is actually where John Marston gets his famous scars. Like they start healing throughout the progression of Red Dead Redemption 2. And then of course become super pronounced in Red Dead Redemption. So you don't even get past two missions in Red Dead Redemption 2. And John Marston is already fighting for his life. Because he was attacked by some vicious snow wolves trying to scout ahead. So that's the first instance right there. The second instance comes at the very end of chapter 6. In the mission Our Best Selves, John is actually shot while trying to rob a train. A couple of cash before it blows us all up! Morning. The train's being robbed! Lay the gun, Arthur! Sure. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha, ha. So that guy standing on top of the train cart must not have been a great shot. He must have hit John in like the shoulder or the chest where his heart wasn't uh, because he was able to recover and survive that incident as well that one was particularly sad because arthur had believed that john died this entire time so it, that was just brutal from arthur's perspective and the final time in which we see john almost lose his life in red dead redemption 2 is in the epilogue part 2 in a mission called a really big bastard john is hunting a bounty with sadie adler and he actually runs across this campsite called Bear Claw. And if the name wasn't a dead giveaway, well, there is a giant grizzly bear in Bear Claw that almost takes John's life. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there, kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... We always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. So this one to me by far was the funniest. I'm sure it wasn't funny for John or Sadie, but when he's like, shoot the three bears, I just lost it. So those are three moments in Red Dead Redemption 2 in which John Marston nearly loses his life. Now, let's go to the very first mission in Red Dead Redemption. This guy just can't catch a break. John is actually traveling to Fort Mercer to meet up with Bill Williamson, and his confrontation doesn't go so well. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> Oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch. And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Though if it wasn't for Bonnie McFarlane and her basically saving his life, John would have completely died. Again, the very first mission of Red Dead Redemption, and he has to have his life saved. Pretty crazy stuff. The next instance comes a little bit later on in Red Dead Redemption in a mission called At Home with Dutch. John is trying to invade Dutch's base at Konashe, and while looking at Dutch through some binoculars, Dutch pulls off a pretty good shot and actually nicks John. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. 
you banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> so luckily, John wasn't too hurt from that. In fact, I think his binoculars might have saved his life, but he, he did take a knock on the head. What that was, I'm not too sure. And the final instance, and I already know what you guys are going to be saying. You're going to say, Mr. Boss, John didn't survive this encounter. And while you're right, it takes like 40 bullets to take him down, like Terminator status. This occurs in the final mission of the main story, The Last Enemy Shall Be Destroyed. So that right there is six instances where John Marston survives fatal injuries in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Redemption. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you know of any other crazy moments where John Marston should have died but didn't? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.